Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stoneface Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here to watch some more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. So Theta, how about go ahead and tell us what you remember from last time. Um, let's see, well most of the episode was a score recap. But I mean, the in general, the thing that sticks with me the most is the, the heart of the episode, which was Winry with a gun. Yeah, there's there's an image. The nicest person in the whole series suddenly holds a weapon. So I pulled out a do. gun and started shooting. <laughs> and then he started blasting, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, this episode's going to be the continuation of the fight that we've just skipped over the majority of. Right, right. There were two sides to the fight. The first was uh, Ed luring out Scar, and the other side... Um, using that to lure out the homunculi. And so we just finished the scar side of it up, really. Or, no, we, we got through the emotional drama of it. We're still going to get more scar fight, if I recall right. There's more than two sides to the fight. The, uh, uh, you think the homunculi that are out there trying to do something. I forget what their goal is. Then you have, sorry, I'm just going to keep calling him Greed, because I know he eventually turns into Greed. Yeah. And I can't really remember his oriental name, which is probably a horrible way to say that, too. But in my effort to not be offensive, I probably just was offensive. But I don't want to fuck that up, either. So, Greed is after the homunculi for the secret to immortality. Uh, then you have Scar, who's out here to kill state alchemists. Then you have Ed and Al, who are out here to capture Scar but also the homunculi. So there's <laughs> at least one, two, three, four different groups with at least one to two different motivations apiece. So there's mm. different uh, different sides, many different sides. Right. And, I mean, I think that's the thing I like about the series. There's a lot of things going on all at once, each of them perfectly rational from everyone's individual point of view. All of these characters feel like they are not doing this because they have to, but because they are making perfectly smart decisions, and then maybe getting fooled somewhere. Uh, there, nobody holds the idiot ball in the series, except maybe Envy. And Envy gets to hold the idiot no, ball. No, uh, what's his name <laughs> is holding the idiot ball? Envy's fine, what are you talking about? Uh, Envy, Envy Envy's is a, a big dummy. Envy's a big old dummy. Envy is a prime motivator of the show. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, if you they... consider the situation that we're in right now, would not have happened if Envy wasn't around. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if Envy hadn't killed Maze Hughes, none of this extra shit would have happened. And a lot of other people would have been in the dark. Lust right. would have been still alive if Envy hadn't done. Are you calling Envy dumb because of what other people did because of what Envy did? Oh, I'm talking about future episodes. I'm saying well, Envy is spoil, the least Griff. rational character. Don't spoil. What? <laughs> spoil their personality where they are clearly ego driven and emotional? No, no, I never do that. We no, haven't seen that. Don't at all. do the thing that you literally just did where you said future episodes, Envy is dumb. Because you're now telling me that the character I don't consider dumb is going to be dumb in future episodes. That's literally a spoiler. <laughs> uh, mostly I'm just teasing about the character, but... You, you can't backtrack now, Griff. You said what you said. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm perfectly fine with being misunderstood if it means that it doesn't spoil it for you. So <laughs> You literally did. Uh telling you you're spoiling it when you tell that's me what you think. That's shit what in the future. <laughs> or this has all been a lie to convince you into lowering your guard. You're bad at this, Griff. If you're, even if you were trying to gaslight, which I know you're not because you're trying way too hard to backtrack your words. Even if you were trying to gaslight, the one thing you don't do with a gaslight is tell me for certain what's going to happen in the future. Well, speaking of the future, how about we go ahead and see what happens in this episode? But, before we get started, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you want more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some really access stuff, you can check it out over on Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but no pressure, it's all to support the channel, just a little bit extra. 
Click the link down below. Join the Discord. Let me know your favorite instance of uh, Griff trying to gaslight me, and tell me why it was today. I mean, it's not like we don't start with an opening anyway. <laughs> I wonder why they decide sometimes to and sometimes not. Oh, you mean the editors for this? Well, I mean, does it add anything to give you a 5 to 10 or 30 second uh, non-intro just to leave you hanging for the intro when you've already presumably either been hanging for a week or whenever you last decided to watch the show? I mean, that's like a really good question. And I remember a phase of shows and like people on YouTube who basically completely killed the intro for a while. They just went flash screen name immediately go straight into content. And yeah, that's good. I mean, we kind of do I... that on double O, not because of our own fault, but because of <laughs> the editing of the show that we watch. But no, right. I mean, do you design this with the intent of somebody is going to... Um, God, what is it called when you watch all the episodes together? Binge. Yeah, with a binge in mind. And would you even do that? And there's, This kind of aired before streaming was as big as it is today. But oh, yeah. Would you, would you design the entire sh series to be binged so that you know someone's coming off of the last episode into your 30-second... Uh, thing or I guess I would have to say the main reason you have the intro is to get hyped for this. Subtitles were fucked up there for second. I spoke bomb and a grenade in one. That reckless fool is beginning to annoy me. Do you think you can follow their scent? Uh -huh. I still think it's insane that King Bradley has outed himself this early. Question is to whom? To anybody. To anybody at all. I guess maybe he doesn't think he's outing himself to anyone because he's going to kill Ling. There are military personnel on the scene. He's waiting, the only thing I can do. He's walking around with gluttony. People have filed reports about gluttony. People know he's a monkey eye. It's just about time. Actually, I don't think anyone has yet. Going back to Ed has. Right. He met him in that uh, desert town with the guy who had the There's philosopher's stone. Outside of town. That's where oh, he didn't meet him at all there. Be followed. Okay. They came in like a week if after. Goes wrong, I'll let you know. All right. And sir, please stay out of the field. I know, Lieutenant. Now go. <laughs> at the prison, then. Was Gladney even at the prison? Yeah, Envy was did that. Envy was the idiot there. No, Envy met um, Al. <laughs> Lust, uh, yeah. Lust and Gluttony met uh, Ed. A dead end. We're trapped. Hmm? Scar again. Gluttony, go see what he's up to this time. And I'll take care of our two little friends here. What happened to me? What's wrong? My arm. My lord, I'm useless to you now. What are you talking about? Welcome to the horror story part of this. With me, if you do, they'll only get you too. A king is no king without. Once again, Ling's voice actor is the main character from Tower of Chihuahua, which really throws me off because I'm the only one who fucking talks about that show. You must live for their sake. I won't leave you. Sometimes someone must be left behind. The greater good. Lan Fan, what are you planning? No, don't do it. He literally says exactly the same shit in Temple Dragon, by the way. You can transcribe all his words here to that show, and that still makes sense. There's 
nothing inside that armor. You're hollow, aren't you? You are all hollow. In a way. I trapped you in that metal prison, and yet you still have faith in it. True. There are plenty of things about this body that are inconvenient. But it's nothing I can't live with. I don't need pity from anyone, least of all from you. My brother used alchemy to save my life. To regret the form I have now would mean not only rejecting alchemy, but also turning my back on him. I believe in my brother, and I believe in alchemy. I will not lose Technically, you're rejecting your body the entire time that you're choking him to get your real body back. That's not... You didn't destroy the water, you changed its form. That was alchemy, buddy. That's a sin. She's safe. It turned into heat and the heat exploded. I made her No. You really should be more careful, brother. If he destroyed the water, it wouldn't turn into anything. Heating up water is an actual alchemical thing. I don't think you're understanding this equivalent exchange thing very much, Nate. He changed the form of the water. That's fucking alchemy. Yeah. Yeah. That's the boy. Look at his tattoo. <laughs> Maybe you forgot your part in this argument, Griff. You're supposed to be arguing that he's only destroying. I'm arguing that he's doing more than destroying. <laughs> Which means you can't make I'm the saying argument. What he's doing is destroying. No. He's making an exchange. As you so eloquently just pointed out to me. You made my argument. You fucked up. Look, the show still follows the conservation of mass and energy. But why did you take off your shirt? Well, he felt cooler. I feel like Dido could take that knee out. Get me some strong cable. Right, on it. Put him in a boulder. <laughs> Your own regenerative abilities working against you. Your flesh won't stop expanding. It'll keep you tied up nice and tight. Now You're those are now. like steel, right? He's just doing that barehanded. Well, apparently Ed turned him into something else. I mean, turned them into something else. That was well played, girl. Well, we've seen that uh, Bradley would kill a dog man, so I don't think he's above killing a dog. How does it feel to be tricked? It doesn't give him anything there, though. What? Neither did really killing the dog man. There you go, fashionable Hawkeye. Put him in, we're getting out of here. <laughs> Why did it take you so long? It's just the Superman outfit. Yeah, I mean, nobody knows who Clark Kent really is. Hey, what's going on? Ow. The MPs are watching. Just pretend we don't know her. They're getting away! After them! Right! The colonel may be a creep. World's fast as hustle back there. We have oh, they're moving in formation. Yeah, why weren't like a bunch of shots going off on Scar right there? They're getting away. Fuck, it's Scar! Yeah, now is when like 17 rifles fire at him. Yeah, especially when he's not standing near anybody, he's gonna get shot. Killed by baby. Are these two giving you trouble, servant? This is the servant of the man who saved my life. You better leave him alone, puny little boy. Once again, another voice I recognize from Tower of Juaga. Get away, girl. It's dangerous. The crossover you never knew you wanted. They've got us outnumbered. It's time for us to retreat. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> That's 
It's also something we haven't seen before. Naruto would have done that with one kunai. One kunai, but 10,000 hand signs. No. But a kunai with a piece of paper attached to it. Which technically, if you think about it, they could have done too. Just now chemical symbol drawn on a piece of paper tied to the kunai. What a great roadblock. I'm tired of playing games with that upstart. I think they were parked on the side, actually. Full Metal Alchemist. Her eyes. Is that how mine I kill state alchemists, but I'm cool with people doing alchemy on me. No matter what I do, hatred only breeds more hatred. Go. I think I managed to stop the bleeding. Thank you. <laughs> Sir, the MPs are all closing in on us. We need to get going. He took a shot to the leg. In his condition, he couldn't have gotten far. Call the area for him. Sir! Quickly. Search dogs are never good in situations like this. Considering there's coal everywhere, it's probably actually the worst. <laughs> Can't feel it anyway. You're safe now. Exactly. <laughs> this way. Follow me. Thanks. You can stay in here, okay? Destroy this symbol instantly dead. Look, there's already right cat hair all over that thing. I'm sure it's fine. Oh. Is that the world's Hello, tiniest cup of alchemist? No, I think it's the world's it's tiniest surprise. pitcher. What brings you here? I heard that a childhood friend of yours was under our protection here at the command center. As a friend of such an important alchemist, she deserves our every courtesy. I should be on my way now. If you'll please excuse me, miss. Oh, of course, sir. That's a nice, honest friend you've got there. Make sure you both take good care of her. Uh, I love the old mafia threats. Yeah. Be ashamed if something happened to her. Ed? Ed, not even that, just like, oh yeah, I like yes. your friend. Tell me everything about my parents. What happened to them? I see. They did everything they could to help others, right up until the end. But I... I just wish... Oh, it was a cup specifically sized for the panda bear. More waiting. That's all... That's why it vanished from the table. The panda bear stole it. timing. Miss Rockbell, there's a telephone call for you. For me? Yes, hello? Oh, Mr. Garfield. I'm sorry about this, Winry. I know you've got a lot going on, and I tried to handle it myself, really. Where is she? Isn't Winry back yet? Time for Winry to leave the story. But I can't take this anymore. Your customers are so needy. 
there, Miss Winry? Tetsu? Please come back to the shop soon. You do a much better job working on my leg than Mr. Garfield can. We need you here. That guy sucks. Yeah, another thing, Winry. We still need an outer covering for that model leg you made for me. My arm needs <laughs> way. Too. Why do I only have two teeth? Get some auto mail teeth, clearly. I'm sorry. I'll be back home soon. Just hold on. I won't be much longer. I'll help everyone. Thank you all. There we go. At least she gets some positive feedback after a literal day of tragedy. Thank you both for stopping me back there. I forgot there were still people who depended Here's on the me. thing is, not knowing if Scar is going to do anything good or bad in the future. And this is the literal um, Schrodinger's cat scenario of Winry could have solved a lot of problems if she just pulled the trigger. Given the uh, Scar is framed as like an anti-hero anyway, assumedly he'll become the Vegeta of the series. Uh, time to keep the kill count going. Secret, right? Well, to be fair, he didn't say, I'm going to commit human transmutation. <laughs> he just said, back when we're on our old bodies, what, who the fuck way. knows what that means. I need one year. Well, I mean, he's clearly wearing a prosthetic. At least people can think now. something about it. <laughs> who knows how many people <laughs> shot weird stuff at the train station. <laughs> Someone's badly injured. I came to you because we need a- Oh, right, the mortician. I'm forgetting who the fuck this guy was. Yup. Well, no, I thought he was Marco for a second. I'm like, isn't that guy dead? If you'd rather not get involved, I'll- I was almost tricked for a second, too. They got, like, the same face structure. I'll get my instruments. You sure about Well, that's the easy, uh, mnemonic here. Is that Marco? Marco's dead. Who would Marco then see? The mortician. Boom. Figured it out. <laughs> You let her wander around the sewers with her arm cut off? Don't blame me if she gets lockjaw. I don't think that's what you get from walking around the sewers with an open wound. So this might be a little Probably sepsis. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. I'm the one who suggested it, remember? We both had something to gain out of it, so it made sense. When I went in search of immortality, I knew I must be ready to make certain sacrifices. I mean, I got a good auto mail friend. I was thinking <laughs> this. <laughs> Probably make this better. Monfan was, though. She made the decision that I was too weak to make. Yeah, do like two to three years of physical therapy, and it'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, would it be better than losing an arm? She's awake. You okay? Is there anything we can do? That old trap of yours worked pretty well. But I'm useless without my arm. I'm going to need to find a replacement. <laughs> you know, literally an auto mail country. Engineer. Yep. <laughs> literally a country where a kid has a cannon in their leg. I'm with the state military. So, you're probably going to be better off. 
and my name is Ling Yao, the twelfth son of the Emperor of Xing. I appreciate you finding a doctor. It was no problem. Thank you for helping us with the Ross incident. And also, for bringing this thing in. Hey, what do we have here? That's Gluttony. He's a homunculus. He and his friends appear to have connections among some of the military's senior staff. Just some, you say? It goes far deeper than that. Your Fuhrer King Bradley? I believe it's possible that he's a homunculus, too. <laughs> and now the cat's cash up. saw his eye. The one under the patch. It had an Ouroboros tattoo. He and Gluttony came after us, and they were working together. No way! See, like I said, he outed himself. For no reason. Although... Bradley doesn't have the same sort of inhuman presence that you get from Gluttony. At his core, he still feels like a regular person. Another thing, if the Fuhrer is a homunculus, how can he possibly have a son? It's said in that book that the homunculi have no reproductive capabilities. No. The Fuhrer's son Salim is adopted. There's no direct blood relation between him and his father. <laughs> Whether he's monster or human, either way, these new developments will make... It's it weird that you'd immediately jump to his son and not his wife. First, we get information out of this one. And I'll take his stone. It may prove useful in treating my man. Hey, you! Lanfan lost her arm to get him! He's our captive. We're taking him back to Sing. Hold it! He could help us get our bodies back. We've been working on that for a long time. I'm not gonna let you just waltz off with him. That's right. Think about it, Link. You're an illegal alien. I'm too old for this kind of thing. Of Good luck, Mustang. I'm going home. <laughs> there you go. That's the right attitude. <laughs> That's normal. What was that? Yeah, his stomach's a black hole. Uh, literally Kirby, everybody. <laughs> well, yeah. Big around, eats everything, black hole in the center, way more powerful than they look. If I thought this group was like a threat or something, I don't know why Envy wouldn't be just in them this whole time. Oh, you mean like immediately trying to masquerade as one of the underlings? Yeah, all the time. If you thought this group was a threat... Why not? What else are you doing? Well, let's see. The only reasons I can think for that would be, A, it does require some amount of acting on Envy's part, and they can look the part, but they don't know everything. Yeah, but the longer you stay with them, the more you know, and the longer you can act the part. Mm-hmm. Information gathering 101. Uh, the second is that very recently, they have all been together doing undercover activities so it's very hard to find one and replace one they've without been, everyone immediately they've knowing. They've been splitting up like crazy. Winry's been wandering the fucking city on her own. You just <laughs> capture Winry, kill her, toss her in the sewer, and pretend to be Winry. So who's to say that Winry isn't currently Envy, given where they were? Because they aren't. What lies safely hidden behind lying eyes? Behind fake smiles and feigned friendship? Finding out will be no easy task. Enter the forest. Grope in the darkness for the unknown. Next time on Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Episode 24, Inside the Bell. Where apparently Marco is again? If you move carelessly, yeah. nothing but pain will await you in the inky blackness. I'm just saying, I, if I was uh, Envy in this scenario, I would T-1000 it. I would go to Winry's house, I'd kill the old woman, pretend to be her, wait for Winry to come home, find out all the things they know, pretend to be Winry, go back to the capital. I would, you know, like that uh, Dragon Age game we did with Rob. Just pretend just, just to be everybody, turn invisible, and keep going. 
<laughs> Travel up the ladder. Ah, uh, there you go. The the long term con right there. Uh, but next time we get the horror movie. No, we get Kirby's Dreamland. <laughs> Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. But no, like that's that's like r very literally the horror movie setup, right? There's a monster. It's night. They're out in the woods, and nobody can help them. That's a very barest bones of a monster movie, sure. Yeah, we, we we hit all the abstract points. That's that's all that matters, really. I mean, that's also minus the monster bit. That's also the setup for a romance. Uh, well, maybe if you're doing a movie by Guillermo del Toro, I, I think maybe then. <laughs> Why? Because we had the monster bit added. I literally said if you take away the monster, it's the setup for a romance. Ah, uh, so. Theta, what are your thoughts about the episode? What What is uh, currently on your mind? What's currently on my mind? That if yeah. you take away the monster, that's the setup for a romance. <laughs> segway, come on, segway. You can't segway, Griff, without setting up a segway. You're asking me, what am I thinking about? The last thing we talked about still, because there's been no prompts otherwise. Okay. Uh, this is the first time we've seen something very, very weird, I think. No. That the homunculus has done. tons of weird shit. Barry was weird. Barry's zombie body was weird. There's a lot of weird. We've seen gluttony before. That was weird. Lust was weird. Envy's <laughs> killing people was weird. I, I think the giant mouth into a black hole that devastates an entire building in one go is definitely... Far more weird than anything else we've seen the homunculus do so far. Disagree. You know what I'm going to disagree with? Alchemy sure. is weird. <laughs> and that's black hole mouth. Nowhere, nor, uh, nowhere near as weird as alchemy, I think. <laughs> All right, so, so black holes are just alchemy now. Got it. Anything you can do with a black hole mouth, you can do with alchemy. Hmm. Uh, but remember what I said about the conservation of mass stuff. I don't know, you won't fucking shut up about it. <laughs> you literally made Where? lots of comments every episode, I think. Where is it all going? Well, you can't, uh... God, what's, this, what's the phrase again? You can't create or destroy matter? Correct. Right. And I think your impetus here is that he has destroyed matter? And turned it into energy. And you've already said, like, oh, yeah, no, uh, Scart just destroys things, and then there's nothing left. Right. So, I guess that fits your interpretation perfectly. No, I'm saying he just turned, he changed one element of matter into another element of matter, which is against what he does. He's committed a sin against his god. Oh, water into steam? That's the same element. No, he's changed its physical properties. I'm saying that boiling water on the stove is alchemy. Specifically, the act of creation. Yeah. He's turned I... water and created steam. Uh, that actually really fits decomposition more than anything. Mm, no. Everything <laughs> else he breaks. This is the act of creating one type of... Uh, state of matter from another state of matter which isn't typically what he does he tends <laughs> to just destroy I would argue the whole turning uh, matter into energy bit uh gosh it's hard to argue with you because you won't accept the primacy that's what it comes down to <laughs> look the way you win an argument is you set your own terms right and your term for victory is to create a premise. Now, if I never agree with that premise, I'll never lose. <laughs> Damn. If you just act stubbornly enough, you'll never understand its perfect plan. <laughs> Look, I've learned a lot from this political cycle. And <laughs> apparently, if I'm just stubborn enough and stupid enough, I'll win. There you go. So, do you have any predictions about the future here? What are you hoping to see? You always ruin it, Griff. If I have a prediction, and then I go to start saying it, and then you interrupt your own sentence with, what do you want to see? Now I can't predict, because you've 
sublet the whole prediction with me <laughs> wanting to see the thing, which means if I say what I predict, I have to then want to see it. <laughs> hey, Griff, what do you think is going to happen next? Addendum, what's the worst thing you could possibly think of? <laughs> it's like, okay, whatever That's you say. That's the thing, spoilers, so I can't tell you shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, but whatever you say now has to be the worst thing. And if I said, what's the best thing you could hope for? It's like, the... you're shooing me in, Griff, is all I'm saying. Well, what's your prediction? That Winry and uh, Ed are getting married. <laughs> You know, that's actually a pretty fair one right there. I, I think it's pretty clear the series is spelling that out, right? Yeah, I think everybody knows that. Uh, God, gotta have a love interest. So, that the only prediction you want to make here today? Well, I mean, we're not at a point where I think anything matters. Obviously, we're going into a fight episode. So, there's not much to predict because we're not in the um, the politics at the moment. Like, I'm assuming that once this uh, little story here about the woods and uh, gluttony is over, mm -hmm. we're going to go back with uh, how do we deal with uh, King Bradley and whatnot. And that's going to be more of a plot and plan where then we can yep. make predictions from there. It's hard to predict what's going to happen next. Much like last time you asked me this question, when we're going to enter into a fight episode, in which all I can predict is that there's going to be a fight. Then, next time, let's go ahead and get a fight. And we'll wrap it up for you for today. This has been Some Face Reactions, everybody. I'm Griffin. That's Theta. We'll catch you next time. See you around. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?